Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. This is a special video on Beginner's Guide to Webhook Integration. So in this video, we are going to understand about webhooks as what are webhooks, how many types of webhooks are there in Public Connect and how can we use each of them in order to connect different types of applications based on different connections. Okay, so let's start. Before moving forward towards understanding the webhook, first of all, we will understand what is trigger in our workflow. So as we know, trigger and actions are the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger is the very first step of every workflow which starts and initiates the entire workflow. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Here, we have two types of trigger, polling based trigger and webhook based trigger. So in this video, here we are going to understand webhook based trigger as how can we build a connection between Public Connect and the applications which are connected with the help of webhook. Okay, so let's move towards webhook now. So what is webhook? Now, basically, webhook is a URL or a link which acts like a bridge to connect an application with Public Connect. So, with the help of webhook URL, we can actually send our data from an application to Public Connect for a specific event. Now, as we have understood what is trigger, so every trigger application is connected with Public Connect with the help of webhook. So, there are multiple types of webhook present in Public Connect and each of them has different types of connection. And whatever we want to select in our trigger for our workflow is connected with Public Connect with the help of this webhook URL. Okay, now let's suppose you want to connect a specific application, let's say Jot Form with Public Connect, and that is your trigger application. And you want that whenever a form will be submitted in Jot Form, automatically the response of that form should be captured in Public Connect. So, in order to send this response of form submission towards Public Connect, there is a webhook URL which is provided to us through which we have to connect Jot Form with Public Connect, and with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to send the data towards Public Connect. So basically, we can say that webhook acts like a bridge in order to connect both the applications in trigger and to send the data from one application to Public Connect. Now, the next we are going to learn is how many types of webhook we have in Public Connect. So there are three types of webhooks, descriptive webhook, post webhook and webhook by Public. And different applications are connected with Public Connect with different types of webhook. So let's understand all the three types of webhooks one by one. First of all, we will start with the descriptive webhook. Now, to understand descriptive webhook, let's take the example of an application of JotForm. Okay, now let's suppose you want to connect JotForm in the trigger application of your workflow and the connection between JotForm and Public Connect is based on descriptive webhook. So what is this descriptive webhook? So whenever while creating the workflow, as soon as you will select an application which is based on descriptive webhook and you will select the trigger event which you want, automatically a webhook URL will be provided to you along with some instructions. So as you can find, I have taken the example of JotForm over here. So whenever we are going to connect JotForm with Pabli Connect as our trigger application, Pabli Connect is going to provide us with this webhook URL. And along with some instructions, as you can find over here, the description is given. So we just have to copy this webhook URL manually. And then by following the instructions which are given over here, we have to add this webhook URL in our jot form. So let's suppose I want that whenever a specific form will be submitted in jot form, automatically the response of that form should be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So for that, I have also selected the trigger event as new response. And as we will click on connect to connect this application, a webhook URL is going to be provided to us. And we are supposed to copy this webhook URL and then we have to add the same webhook URL in a specific form in jot form whichever form we want to connect with public connect okay and as soon as we will do that automatically the form will get connected with public connect and whenever and whenever a new response will be submitted in that form automatically the response of that form will be captured here in public connect Okay, so this was the concept of descriptive webhook. So whichever application has the connection based on descriptive webhook, when we will connect them with Public Connect, a webhook URL will be provided to us along with some instructions. And by following the same instructions, we have to connect the particular application with Public Connect. And that is to be done manually. Okay, now the next is post webhook. So what is post webhook? Now, whenever we want to connect any application which is based on post webhook, 
we do not get any webhook url in that okay so here we do not have to copy the url and paste it manually but these kind of applications get connected automatically with the help of an api call so whenever we will connect an application with pabli connect which is based on post webhook automatically at the back end pabli connect will add the webhook url in that specific application with the help of api call and automatically the connection will be done successful and we will receive the response of that application automatically in pabli connect so here i have used the example of calendly calendly is an amazing appointment booking application and the connection between calendly and pabli connect is based on post webhook so whenever we want to connect calendly with pabli connect we do not have to copy the webhook url manually and paste it there but it is done automatically with the help of an api call and here you can find that automatically without any webhook url this application is connected with pabli connect and the response is received over here now the third and the last type of webhook is webhook by pabli So webhook by Pabli is an inbuilt feature of Pabli which allows us to connect applications which does not have any native integration with Pabli Connect. So with the help of webhook by Pabli we can even connect applications which is not natively connected with Pabli Connect. So whatever application we want to connect we just have to paste this webhook url in that application and it will be connected here and the response of that application will be captured over here in pabli connect so basically webhook by pabli is useful for connecting the applications which are not natively connected with pabli connect let's suppose an application let's say jot form does not have any kind of native integration with pabli connect therefore we cannot connect jot form directly with pabli connect so in order to capture the response of that specific application we use this url which is provided to us by webhook by pabli and we are going to copy this manually paste it there in the application and automatically then the response of that application will be captured over here okay so whenever we want to connect an application which does not have any native integration with pabli connect we use webhook by pabli in our trigger application okay now these were all the three types of webhooks now we are going to understand each of these three types of webhooks one by one with an example so let's go towards pabli connect so let's start with the example of a descriptive webhook okay so this is the home page of pabli connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com/connect this url in our browser once we will reach on this home page we can find two options over here sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you can create your new account just in 2 minutes by clicking on this sign up for free button also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now because i am an existing user i have already logged into my pabli connect dashboard after coming here we can find all our workflows which we have created over here in this dashboard okay we can also create multiple folders here in order to save our workflows now we will click on this create workflow option to create a new workflow and i will simply give a name to this workflow okay so here because we are understanding the example of descriptive webhook i am going to provide the name to my workflow as descriptive webhook okay now we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow so here from the drop down i am going to select the folder as home only okay now let's click on create and we can find that two windows are open in front of us so the first is trigger and the other is action here because we are understanding about trigger we will only talk about trigger over here trigger is the very first step which initiates the entire workflow so here whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command now whatever applications we select in our trigger gets connect with pabli connect with the help of webhook okay so the same concept which we have understood earlier in this video we are going to talk about it and here i am going to show you the example of descriptive webhook by taking the example of jot form so we will connect jot form as a trigger application with pabli connect and the connection between jot form and pabli connect is based on descriptive webhook okay so what i am going to do i will simply select jot form here in my trigger application and now we have to select the trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger so on the happening of which event we want the response here in pabli connect we want that whenever a new form will be submitted in jot form the response of that form should be captured here in pabli connect okay so therefore we will select the trigger event as new response and now we can find that as soon as we have clicked on connect here is the webhook url which is provided to us from pabli connect okay now in order to connect jot form with pabli connect we are going to use this webhook url we just have to copy it and we will follow the instructions given over here in order to connect jot form with pabli connect so i am going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do we just have to go towards our jot form account and then we have to select the form which we want to connect with pabli connect after selecting that form we will find the option of settings under that we will find the option of integrations and then in the webhooks we have to paste this webhook url 
Now, without wasting any time, I'm just going to take you towards my JotForm account to see the live example. And here in the all forms section, we can find that I have multiple forms over here. I want to connect this subscriber form with Public Connect. So what I'm going to do, I will simply click on this edit form option. And here my form is open, subscriber form. And in this form, we can find three options over here, build, settings and publish. So we will click on this settings option. And in the left side, we can find the option of integrations. I will select it. And after coming on integrations here, we will search for webhooks. Okay, this is the option of webhooks. Let's select it. And in this field, we have to paste the webhook URL, which we have copied from Fably Connect. Okay, just copy this again and I will paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, we have to click on complete integration and very easily our integration is ready. Now we have successfully connected our Jot form with Pabli Connect. Let's go back on Pabli Connect and here it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means now we have to do a test submission by submitting the form so that the response of that form will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do again, I will take you to Jot form and this time we will click on publish. This is the link of the form. So I will simply copy it and open it in a new tab so that a new form could be open in front of us. And now I'm going to simply fill the details in this form to submit it. So I will enter random details over here. Let's start with the first name. Let's say the first name is demo, last name as user, a random email, demo90 at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number. So I have entered all the details. Now we will simply click on submit and our form is submitted. So let's go back on Pabli Connect. And here we can find that as soon as we have submitted the form in Jot form, automatically the response is received over here. So here are all the details which we have entered in the form, the same and the exact data, email, first name, last name and the contact number. Now, because we have received the response, this means that we have successfully integrated JotForm with Public Connect. Okay, so this was the example of descriptive webhook. I have taken JotForm just for showing the example. In the same manner, by following the same steps, you can connect any application with Public Connect, which has a connection based on descriptive webhook. Now, the next example is of post webhook. If you want to connect any application which is based on post webhook, then you do not have to manually copy and paste the webhook URL for that. But Public Connect will do it automatically with the help of an API call. So now now, in order to show you this example, I'm simply going to take the example of Calendly, which is an amazing appointment booking application. The connection between Calendly and Public Connect is based on post webhooks. Therefore, here I'm going to connect Calendly with Public Connect with the help of post webhook. Okay. So in the trigger application, we will simply select Calendly and now we will select the trigger event. So let's say in the trigger event, I'm going to select Invitee Created. So whenever a new invitee will be created in Calendly, I want the response here in Pabli Connect. We will click on connect. And now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Calendly account. And after selecting it here, we simply have to click on connect with Calendly. And we can find that automatically my authorization has become successful. And here my Calendly account is connected with Pabli Connect. Since I was logged into my Calendly account, Pabli Connect has already deducted it. And we can find that automatically my Calendly account is connected with Pabli Connect. Okay. So in the same manner, we have to connect the applications which are based on post webhooks with Pabli Connect. Okay. So this was the example of Calendly. The same manner you can connect any other application also. Now the next and the last type of webhook is webhook by Pabli. Here we are going to look the example of webhook by pabli as i told you that webhook by pabli is the feature which allows us to connect with the application which does not have any native integration with pabli connect okay so here we are going to use webhook by pabli in order to connect an application and with the help of this feature we are going to capture the response in pabli connect of the application which is not natively connected with pabli connect okay so let's say for an example i'm going to take jotform over here let's assume jotform does not have any kind of native integration with pabli connect so what I'm going to do with the help of webhook by Pabli. I am going to connect JotForm with Pabli Connect just for an example. And with the help of webhook by Pabli, I am going to fetch out the details in Pabli Connect whenever a new form will be submitted in JotForm. So here in my trigger application, I will select webhook. And as we have selected webhook by Pabli, it has provided us a webhook URL. So with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to connect the applications which are not natively connected with Pabli Connect. And then with the help of this, we are going to fetch out the details here in Pabli Connect. Okay, here we are just taking the example of JotForm. So I am going to use this webhook URL in order to connect JotForm with Pabli Connect. Let's copy this. And after this, I'm going to take you to my JotForm account. I have several forms over here. I want to use this subscriber form. So I will click on edit form button and then we will go on settings. After coming on settings here, we can find the option of integrations. Let's select it. 
and we will search for webhooks. Here I will simply paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Okay. So with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to connect this subscriber form with Pabli Connect. Let's click on complete integration. And in this way, we have successfully connected our Jot form with Pabli Connect with the help of webhook by Pabli. Now it is showing waiting for response. So what I'm going to do, I will again go on publish and I will copy this link. We will open it in a new tab and I'm going to fill the details in this form to submit it. Let's say here I'm going to enter the first name as test, the last name as user, a random email and at last the phone number. Just a random phone number. We will click on submit and the form is submitted. Let's go back on Pabli Connect and here we can find that as soon as we have submitted the form, here is the response. Here we have received all the details which we have entered in the form, first name, last name, email and the contact number. So in this way, we have successfully connected our Jot form with Pabli Connect with the help of Webhook by Pabli. Jot form was just an example. Basically, Webhook by Pabli is used to connect the applications with Pabli Connect which does not have any native integration with Pabli Connect. Okay, so these were all the three types of webhooks in Pabli Connect. So I hope by now you would have understood what are webhooks, how many types of webhook we have in Pabli Connect and how we use webhooks to connect different applications with Pabli Connect. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.